All right, today we are going to be sand leveling the yard. I've waited two years for the side yard and the front yard I wanted to do this year. Um, I seeded last year, so good time to level it. I want to be able to reel mow about half an inch to five eighths. So this is a necessary step. And I had sprinklers installed. So we're gonna fill in those trenches first and then level out everything else afterwards. So I'll show you guys what I'm working with. All right, this is four yards of masonry sand. I have my gorilla cart, shovel, and this is the yard I'll be working with first. I had a big uh, spot where that first pile on the left is, where all the trenches came together for the sprinklers. Up here, there's a big spot, and then all the way down to the road, and then on this side as well, on this side. And there's a kind of a steep slope here we try to smooth that out. I'll probably do this with my lawn level that I have over here. I have my rake, my lawn level, and I'll probably use just that for the side yard. Once I get to the main front yard over here, I'm gonna grab my neighbor's uh, lawn tractor, hook it up and pull a uh, pallet behind it to knock it all down so I'll give you guys some updates but this is where we're at right now all right so I went through and knocked down all the piles so they could dry out I am trying to take the sand on top of my large pile first but I figure if I get a four or five piles go knock them all down let them dry out it'll be a lot easier to use the lawn level so that's what I'm doing we'll keep going and See how it goes. All right, guys, I don't think I mentioned this in my original opening video, but I have never done this before. This is the first time I've ever tried any of this stuff. And I want to show you guys my progress. So I went through and used my lawn level to get half the sand kind of smoothed out. And there was a few spots I had to be careful with because if you went the opposite direction, I would kind of undo what I was trying to get uh, accomplished. So I'll flip the camera around and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so this right side here has been kind of worked in a little bit. It looked exactly like this on the left before. And this will be the next part. And you can clearly see my irrigation trench here all the way through. And I had a dip right here in this uh, real heavy spot of sand and I had to go basically push it the direction I was walking to actually get it somewhat uh, level. If I went the opposite direction, it'd push it all out. And this was a real bad spot here. The irrigation trenches kind of all met up and it looked real bad. So we'll go through and push this around and then work on the middle. All right, quick update on where we're at. This side has been pushed in. I had to add a few more buckets in those three spots I'm trying to get my uh, slope to be a little less uh, harsh so my reel mower doesn't catch when I push up from the east to the west so we'll do that letting those dry out still have a lot of sand left and we're going to start filling in the trenches from my irrigation over here you can see the lines uh, we'll get in line with this one that's one you can see one running north-south, about halfway down. And all of this. So over here, they put a pipe underneath the sidewalk here to drain out this little island area. I'm going to fill this all with sand, try to get this level. It's real hard to uh, mow, especially with my push mow on this section. So we'll do that, and we'll start putting piles out. All right, update for you guys. I have basically finished the side yard. I may go back and fine tune it after I run the sprinklers, maybe tomorrow if I have sand left. I started working on the side, uh, the main front yard. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is put all the piles where my irrigation trenches went, knock those down, and then start leveling them with my lawn level. After I get the trenches done, I'll probably just dump all the piles, go to my neighbor's, grab his uh, lawn tractor, and hook up a pallet that my swordman got shipped on last year. So that's the goal. This is 
brutal. It is tough. If you want want to try this, three tools that you definitely need. Gorilla cart, you have to have it. If you try to do this with a wheelbarrow, you're going to be in a world of pain. Even with the gorilla cart, it's tough, but I think it's not too bad and I'll be able to handle it. Um, lawn level to fine tune and just a regular rake, uh, garden rake to knock the uh, piles over. So we'll see how that pallet stuff goes and we'll have to get the trenches uh, fixed up and we'll see how that goes. But just want to check in, give you guys an update and I'll flip the camera around and show you what it's looking like. All right, so this is my front door. This is the main front yard is what I call this. I knocked down the piles all the way in the back so they could start drying out while I was hauling some more. I put my chair over the little sewer just so I could put my phone there and have my earbuds still connected. Haven't started on this side yet. The pile is slowly, slowly going down. You can see how much of it was still here uh, based on the sand on the ground. That's kind of the outline of it. And on the front side, you can see that we have scooped a lot of sand. So, Hey guys, today is day two of our sand leveling project. I think I have about 80% of the sand moved out into the yard. Um, I did the backyard where my irrigation trench ran uh, directly across. And I'm working on spreading out the sand and dumping it in the front yard. Um, the side yard, I'll probably go over with my uh, lawn level after I finish all that, and then I want to take a little break. Um, it has been pretty tough work, but I don't think it's going as bad as I expected it to. Um, this project is just a lot of work. I don't think it's necessarily hard, but I'll flip the camera around and show you guys what my yard looks like while I sit here and rest a little bit. All right, so this is the main front yard. I've been dragging um, buckets of sand in the gorilla cart, and once I do seven or eight of them, I go and knock them down just so they can start drying out before I try to push them with my lawn level. But yeah, I have this one little section here to go, uh, maybe 500 square feet or so, and we'll be good. I think it's probably going to be seven or eight um, buckets of sand, probably. And then we'll go here. This is the sand pile that's left. You can see how far the gorilla cart's behind it. Not too much left. And take a look on the side yard. I could probably put another couple uh, gorilla carts full of sand basically in that green spot. And then I'll go through and uh, push the rest of that sand into the canopy a little bit. The trenches on each side and then the little spot where I'm trying to smooth out the uh, slope, I'll just have to leave that and then run the sprinklers when I'm done. So we'll see how that goes, but I'll give you guys an update when I have a little more progress. All right, so here's an update for you guys. I have spread all the sand, dumped it out. Now it's going to be time to use the lawn level and get it done as best as I can. I thought about going to my neighbors and getting his lawn tractor. Part of me is being stubborn, and I want to do it with the tools I have. And I'm probably going to pay for it tomorrow, but it's kind of one of those things I had it in my mind that I can do it, and it's kind of just proven to myself that this project was a lot and a lot of work, but I was able to do it. So that's probably the direction I'm going to go, and we'll see how much I regret that tomorrow. But for now, this is the plan. All right, so this is the side yard. Nothing's changed except I did dump one gorilla cart worth of sand right in the middle right there. I'll go let that dry out, and then we'll go and just push that in. That's going to be the easy part. The main front yard is going to be brutal. All right, guys, this will be one of the last updates I do on this video. I may do a, a recap at the end in case you skip to the end and see what my thoughts about this project was but about 95 percent done with my front yard and the little side yard in the front i used a gorilla cart garden rake shovel and a lawn level and that was it 
I think it was just enough area that I don't want to go any bigger. And my front yard's about 3,000 square feet total. So if you're in good shape, I think it is doable. Um, I don't suggest it. I'll probably do this differently next year. But I wanted to give an honest effort and see with minimal tools how it would go. And I did it. And I'm going to flip it around and show you guys what it looks like. I ended up putting a lot more sand closer to the driveway. I had a pretty good uh, slope there. And I think the rest of the yard is kind of just not quite so bad. All right, so this is the finished product. I'll probably run my sprinklers, make sure all the heads come up and dig out any of them that had too much sand over the top. The um, chair with the five gallon bucket is there because I think one of the scoops the garden center gave me had more pebbles than the rest. So after I finished leveling everything, I kind of went through and picked up as many as I could get, pea size or greater, um, out the yard and just threw them in the bucket so I wasn't walking around too much. I did find a lot of bigger rocks, which was fine. Uh, the lawn level would hit it, clank it real loud, and I'd reach down and pick it up. All right, last update on the sand leveling project. It has been one week since we put the sand out. Everywhere except the trenches has basically filled in and I'm about to mow the grass. So I'll flip the camera around, show you guys where I'm at one week in, and then I'll take a couple pictures to uh, give you the time-lapse kind of photo deal. So let's get to it. All right, so this is the front yard. I had a really good rain um, Friday, a couple days ago. So the sand got worked into the canopy really nice. My fertilizer application kind of evened out the spots where my um, Scott spreader kind of just made one line down. So got that a little bit evened out. You can still see a little bit. And we're going to mow the grass, see what it looks like and feels like. All right, on the side yard, we are going to real mow this. There's still quite a bit of sand exposed, especially in this little low area and where the trenches were. But I need to send my reel off to get sharpened anyway. I haven't sharpened it yet this year because I was planning on doing this. So once this um, gets done and I mowed a couple times, I'll switch my reels and we'll send one off to get sharpened. So yeah, that's it. Sand leveling is complete.